Hello and welcome to my review of the Orca Torch SD03 dive light. This light is not like anything I currently own. This is not a powerful primary light that you use for looking around for things underwater. This is a low intensity light described by Orca Torch as a beacon. I would call it a marker light. So a light that you would put on something else that you want to keep track of. Let's go ahead and have a look at the box. In the front we've just got a picture of the product. On one side we have the advertised water resistance, which is 150 meters, and the advertised max runtime, which is 250 hours. On the opposite side, we've got the colors that can be displayed, which are green, blue, red, and white. And on the back, there's just a uh, short paragraph describing how to operate the light, and also reiterating that you've got the four color modes, but also two other choices. You can have a steady light or you can have a blinking light. So that gives you a total of eight lighting modes. So we've looked at the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and get inside the box. So here's the light itself. Assume those are some instructions. And further in here, looks like like we've got a little tiny lanyard for hanging on to the light or attaching it to something. And that's a nice touch. We've even got a couple of spare O-rings for maintenance. Okay, so this piece is a warranty card to fill out. And yeah, so you've got the uh, user manual. I'm going to go ahead and open up the light. Comes with the battery. So this little piece needs to come out so the battery can be, or excuse me, the light can be turned on. Okay, so I had a little difficulty trying to cycle through the different lighting modes, and that's because I didn't read the directions. But I didn't read the directions because I didn't want to waste time doing that on camera. But I've done it now, and the key thing to remember is that when you turn the light on, if you leave it in any mode for three seconds, then that mode goes into memory. And the next time the light is turned on again, it's going to go back into that mode. So for the purposes of this demonstration, that just means I need to cycle through all the lighting modes pretty quickly. So on, you get a red light, off and on again you get flashing red, it's now blue, flashing blue, steady green, flashing green, solid white, and flashing white. So, uh, those are different lighting modes. Uh, I think the white light is kind of a nice touch. Um, I don't see it being very practical for much. This light's only uh, 100 lumens. Um, but like I said, nice touch because it doesn't seem to add anything in terms of the weight or the size of the light. I do a lot of night diving and I've seen almost everything. You know, it's not inconceivable that if your primary light dies and you go to pull out your backup, you might find the battery's dead or it flooded. So having one more light, even though it's pretty small, it's certainly better than nothing. You know, 100 lumens, it's way less than 1,000 lumens, but it might just be what you need to find your way to your exit point on shore or back to your boat. 